Oh, Lieutenant James Hollowitz with the Central Police Department. I'm here to talk to you today about how the PASS-4 flashlight uh, alcohol sensor works. I'm to talk to you today about how the PASS-4 or PASS-5 flashlight alcohol sensor works. <laughs> James Hollowitz, Lieutenant, Temple Police Department. I'm here to talk to you today about how, the, how to operate the PASS-4 or the PASS-5 flashlight slash alcohol sensor. You'll notice on the front you've got two different buttons. The top button operates the flashlight. All right. Once you turn it on, if you lightly touch it, it'll reduce the brightness to use, like for looking at driver's license or something like that, so that it's not as such a glare. If you lightly touch it a second time, it'll strobe to be used in a traffic direction or to get somebody's attention. Lower button activates the passive sensor. All right. When you press it, you'll see a green light come on. On the side, you'll notice that you have an in port. When you activate the sensor, you'll hear a fan begin to turn on. And what that does is through the in port sucks air in from about five to seven inches away from the area that you're wanting to check. It's a true passive system. As it brings in air through that port, the lights, with the presence of alcohol, the lights will begin to rise on the meter on the front. And that'll help verify the fact that there's alcohol present in that area. Inside of the flashlight, Last you have thing, one more light. It's either going to be green or ultraviolet, depending on which model you purchase. All right, and that's to enable you to help see like driver's licenses or something like that when you're in the car. The ultraviolet will bring up the um, hidden things on a driver's license to make you verify that they are valid, that it's a valid license and not a forgery. And that's how it works. I'm going to pass a uh, flashlight, four or five. Yep. What I do is you approach the vehicle, and of course you've got your flashlight in your hand, all right, so that you can light up the inside of the vehicle while you talk to the driver and whatnot. And the easiest thing to do is while you're bringing up a discussion with the driver and you're getting your driver's license and you're looking inside the vehicle, you can just slide your finger back, activate the sensor, and hold it about like this, just just at the edge of the window. All right, that'll give you your five to seven inches away from because you're really checking the what's emitting from inside the vehicle to help you determine whether or not there's alcohol present. You may be able to smell it. There may be times that you may not because they've used some sort of masking odor, whether it be cologne, perfume, air fresheners, or one instance where I had where they had a transmission fluid leak and all you could smell was burnt transmission fluid. But my past four detected the odor of alcoholic beverages or detected the odor of alcohol lit up the front screen or the, the, the readout, and I knew then, after I got him out of the vehicle and away from that odor, I could then smell it myself, which turned into a nice DUI arrest. Officers or agencies that use body cameras, this can help you with your evidence showing that there was alcohol present when you stopped the vehicle. After you get that readout, after you've detected it from the inside the vehicle or on the the driver and you get that readout you can just turn it towards your body camera and let your body camera film that readout in the front part of the flashlight with the graph that can be then shown to judges or juries even the defense counsel for if they're so that it shows that there was alcohol present when you stopped the vehicle